Bongo Mata was a source of inspiration, strength and courage for father of the nation, said Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina. Bangladesh Railway started selling advance tickets for the Etul Asa. And special tribunal accepted the charge sheet against eight militants in a case on Holy Artisan Bakery. Viewers, Assalamu Alaikum and welcome to my TV English Bulletin. I'm Sheila Iqbal with you at the newsroom today. You're watching the headlines. Now the details. Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina said Bongo Mata Sheikh Fazilutun Nesa Muji was the source of inspiration, strength and courage for father of the nation. Like Bongo Bondu, she worked with dedication for the people making a perfect accompaniment to shape the political thoughts of Bongo Bondu. The Prime Minister said this while addressing a remonstrance meeting organized by the Women and Children Affairs Ministry marking the 88th birthday anniversary of Bongo Mata Sheikh Fazilutun Nesa. Mujib at City's Bongomundu International Conference Center. Sheikh Hasina said Bongomata in all critical times in different phases of the national history helped Bongomundu to take right decisions. Bongomata used to live very simple life. Even when Bongomundu was in the office of the Prime Minister after liberation, Bongomata would remain in the heart of Bengali nation and be remembered for her sacrifice, patriotism and love for the people, said Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina. State Minister for Women and Children Affairs, Meher Afroz Tumki, presided over the function while Fazil Utanesa, Indira MP, was a keynote speaker. Here, Bangladesh Railway today has started selling advance tickets for the Idul Asa. The passengers can purchase advance rail railway tickets of August 17, 18, 19. 20th and 21st on August 8, 9, 10, 11 and 12 respectively. The holiday makers can also collect their advanced train tickets for return journey from Rashai Kunla, Rangpur, Dinajpur and Lal Munirhat stations under special arrangement from August 15 to 19 for travelling from August 24 to 28. Maximum for advanced rail tickets will be given to one person or passenger. A total of 26 countries, counters will remain open in the Komulapur station. Of those two will remain reserved only for women. Meanwhile, the bus company started advance bus ticket sale on long routes for upcoming Holy Idul Asa on Tuesday last. Private-owned Hani Puribohan General Manager signed a press release said advance bus ticket sale started yesterday for the journey from August 16 to August 21st. The dates for selling return tickets, however, will be informed later. The sale of advance bus tickets was supposed to be begin on August 5th, but later it was postponed as plying of buses on long routes remained suspended due to an avoidable reason. The High Court today extended until August 13 the bail of BNP Chairperson Khaled Azia in the Zia Orphanage Trust Crap case. And High Court bench comprise, compromising Justice M. Inayatul Rahim and Justice M. M. D. Mustafiz Rahman passed the order following a petition filed by Khaled's lawyer. The High Court also adjourned the hearing of the case till Thursday. Earlier on July 31st, the High Court on extended bail of the BNP chief until August 8 in the Kraft case. On February 8, Dhaka Special Court 5 convicted the former Prime Minister and BNP chairperson and sentenced her to five years imprisonment in the Zia Orphanage Trust Kraft case. A special tribunal today accepted the charge sheet against eight militants in a case filed over the 2016 militant attack on Holy Artisan Bakery in Gulshan. Judge Muzibur Rahman of the Anti Terrorism Special Tribunal in Dhaka passed the order after hearing the charges brought against them. The court also ordered to release former North South University teacher Hasnat Karim, whose name was dropped from the charge sheet submitted on July 23rd from police custody. That charge sheet it are uh, Jahangir Alam, Ali Elias Rajiv Gandhi, Mahmud Al Hassan, Mizan Sohil Mahfuz, Rashidul Islam Alias Rash, Boromizan. 
Hadisur Rahman, Shagor, Mamun Rashid, Ripon, and Shariful Islam Khalid. The court also issued an arrest warrant against the two charged shitted accused who are on the run and asked officer in charge of the Gulshan police station to submit a report on the execution of the arrest warrant on August 16. Hasnat Karim was rescued along with 12 others during the command operation at the Holy Artisan Bakery in the city's Gulshan area on July 2, following a 12 hour hostage standoff. 22 people, 9 Italians, 7 Japanese, 1 Indian, 1 Bangladeshi born in America, and 2 Bangladeshis were killed in a terror attack on the restaurant on July 1, 2016. Viewers, that is all from my newsroom for now. Thanks for being with us. To join with MyTV News Online, visit www.youtube.com slash News and to watch all our program. On YouTube, visit youtube.com slash mytvbanga. Our next bulletin will be telecasted in Bangla at 7.30 p.m. Until then, I'm Shulaik Bal taking your list. Stay safe and connected. Allah Hafiz.